In last video we learn about computer memories. Today, we will learn about RAM and ROM. Let's start with what is RAM and its types. RAM stands for Random Access Memory, which is a type of computer memory that provides quick access to data that the computer is currently using. RAM is a volatile memory, which means that the data stored in RAM is lost when the computer is turned off or restarted. RAM is an essential component of any modern computer as it enables the computer to run multiple applications simultaneously without slowing down. When you open an application on your computer, the data from the hard drive is loaded into the RAM, which the computer can access quickly. This allows the computer to perform tasks more quickly than if it had to retrieve data directly from the hard drive. RAM is measured in bytes, with larger amounts of RAM typically resulting in better performance. RAM can be upgraded or replaced in most computers, allowing you to improve your computer's performance if it is running too slowly. There are several types of RAM, including DRAM, Dynamic Random Access Memory. DRAM is the most common type of RAM used in computers today. It is called Dynamic because it needs to be constantly refreshed to maintain its contents. SRAM, Static Random Access Memory. SRAM is faster and more expensive than DRAM. It does not need to be refreshed like DRAM, but it also has a smaller capacity. SDRAM, Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. SDRAM is a type of DRAM that is synchronized with the computer's clock speed, which allows it to access data more quickly. DDRSDRAM, Double Data Rate Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. DDRSDRAM is a type of SDRAM that can transfer data twice per clock cycle, which makes it faster than regular SDRAM. DDR2, DDR3, DDR4 SDRAM. These are successive versions of DDRSDRAM, with each version offering faster data transfer rates and lower power consumption than its predecessor. RAM is measured in gigabytes, GB, and typically ranges from 4 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes or more. The amount of RAM a computer has can affect its performance, as more RAM allows the computer to run more programs at once and access data more quickly. Now we learn about ROM. ROM stands for read-only memory, which is a type of computer memory that is used to store permanent data. Unlike random access memory, RAM, which is volatile and requires constant power to maintain data, ROM retains data even when power is turned off. ROM is called read-only because the data stored on it can only be read, not modified. This means that once data is programmed onto ROM, it cannot be changed or erased. ROM is commonly used to store firmware and other software that must remain unchanged, such as the BIOS in a computer. There are several types of ROM, including Mask ROM, MROM. This type of ROM is created during the manufacturing process and is programmed with data permanently. It cannot be changed once it has been programmed. Programmable Read-Only Memory, PROM. PROM is a type of ROM that can be programmed by the user using a special device called a PROM programmer. Once programmed, the data on PROM is permanent and cannot be changed. Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory, EPROM. APROM is a type of ROM that can be erased and reprogrammed. To erase APROM, it must be exposed to ultraviolet light for a specified amount of time. Once erased, the APROM can be reprogrammed with new data. Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory EEPROM. EEP ROM is a type of ROM that can be erased and reprogrammed electrically. This means that the data on EEPROM can be erased and reprogrammed without exposing it to ultraviolet light. EEPROM is commonly used in modern computer systems for storing BIOS settings and other data that must be retained even when power is turned off. In summary, ROM is a type of computer memory that is used to store permanent data that cannot be changed or modified once it has been programmed. There are several types of ROM, including MROM, PROM, EEPROM, and EEPROM, each with different characteristics and uses. In the next video, we will learn about the motherboard. Thank you for watching and supporting us. Please like and subscribe for upcoming videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment box, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Or contact me via my personal email address, which I will mention in the video descriptions.